If you're watching this video, then you've probably encountered this awful situation. You're in the office and you're collaborating with a work colleague and they're presenting an Excel file and you ask them to send it to you and then you watch them. They open Outlook, they click on New Email, they select Attach File and then browse this PC. Today I'm going to show you a few handy ways of sending an Excel file in Outlook that will shave years off of your life. You might even make a few friends in the process too by sharing these tips. Oh friend! Hello YouTube people, welcome to Melvin Finks and thank you once again for clicking on this video. Okay, so this first method is what I tend to use when the file isn't already open on my computer. Just locate the file, right click, scroll down to send to and then mail recipient and Bosch. It's ready to be sent so you can just insert the uh, recipients, change the subject of the email and change the body text and it's ready to go. This also works if you're sending multiple files. Again, same process, select them all, right click, send to mail recipient and depending on the size of the files, it might take a bit longer to load them all up but it's exactly the same principle. This next method is what you would tend to use if you've already got the file open up on your computer and it's probably what I see 99% of people use. It's not the best way, but I'll show you anyway. They will go up to file, down to share, wait for it to load up, click send the copy, click Excel workbook, and then they're ready to send it to the end user or users. Um, this isn't the best way, trust me. Now this final method is what I personally tend to use and this is coming from someone that probably spends 90% of their working day within an Excel file. I like to be able to hit a single button, attach to an email, click send and move on with my life and it's all thanks to the quick access toolbar. I'm definitely going to do a video on the benefits of the quick access toolbar in the future because I think it's just such a neglected feature within Excel and all Microsoft applications and if you can set it up and customize it to your own preferences it's such a useful feature and saves you a ton of time. Anyway what we need to do is hover above the ribbon and where it says customize quick access toolbar click on that hover down to email and hit it and you'll see this little icon will appear. So from now on, whenever you need to send an Excel file in an email attachment, you can just do one click and it's ready to go. I actually like putting my quick access toolbar below the ribbon because I haven't got a scroll as far and I think it's a bit more visible. Thank you for watching this video through to the end. If it's helped you in any way, then please like and subscribe, and I'd love to hear your own methods in the comments section below. Until next time, look after yourselves, and I hope to see you soon. Cheers.